Good morning, everyone. I'm Star Delta 9. Happy Thursday to you all. Hope you're having a blessed day. I'm going to be doing a collective reading for May 18th, 2023. Please take what fits and leave the rest. Don't ever give your power away to me or any other psychic out here on YouTube. You know your story. If you're a return subscriber, thank you so much for being here. And if you're not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. I would love, love, love to have you. So I've been meditating on your cards as a collective, and I will see what spirit wants to say. I'm going to be using the Marchetti Gilded Tarot and the Right Waiter deck, and I'll do a couple oracle cards for you too. What is going on, spirit angels and guides, for the collective today for May 18th, 2023? Please show me nothing but love and light. What is it that you would like to speak to the collective about today, spirit? Let's see. Here we go. What's in the center of the reading spirit this morning? So a ten of wands, laying some burdens down, pain, might be pain, might be ruins, right? With a ten of wands, just laying some burdens down, Sagittarius. The burdens may have to be due with a two of cups, some sort of something that's being helpful for you, but it's a partnership of some sort with the Two of Cups here, right? A romance, a partnership, a friendship. So maybe you're laying down burdens of a partnership or a friendship with Venus and Cancer there. Crowning energies, judgment. So some sort of awakening, some sort of revival, some sort of... Uh, Let's see what these are first, and I'll tell you. So that came out in reverse. That came out in reverse. Hmm. The magician is your energy. What's the environment? The empress. Hopes and fears. Two of Wands. What's the outcome, Spirit? What's the outcome? An Ace of Swords. Wow. So Six of Cups on the bottom of the deck. So there might be something that you're looking at and you're having good memories with, or you're having a reconciliation with Scorpio here. In the center of your reading is the 10 of wands, saying you've laying down some sort of burdens here, right? Something that has caused you pain and failure, right? Sagittarius. It may have to do with some sort of friendship, romance, or partnership, love partnership, we'll see. But judgment is in the crowning energy, saying you've had an awakening to these laying these burdens down, or possibly you've had an awakening to carrying these burdens of a friendship, of a partnership of some sort with cancer here. So we'll clarify. You might be looking back on that with some memories, with the Six of Cups reminiscing. What are the burdens surrounding this friendship, this this love, romance, or partnership? What is the burdens you're laying down, Spirit? It's too many. Page of Cups. So you have some sort of news coming towards you from a cup, a page of cups, right? Sweet, gentle. Might not be, 
it might be surrounding this partnership. This partnership might, someone might be coming back asking for a reconciliation or a redo. The Four of Swords. So you've retreated. You've gone into exile with the Four of Swords here. You've done that because you need some rest. You're trying to rest and recoup from something with the Four of Swords here. This is temporary, right? But you've retreated. And I think maybe you've had a reconciliation offer given to you, whomever I'm speaking to. You've laid the burdens down. It's surrounding a friendship or a partnership. And they're asking you to reconcile. You're resting. You're retreating. Maybe taking in the information. One more. Two more. Ace of Wands on the bottom. So the Hermit and the Ten of Cups. So as you've retreated, you've gone into Hermit mode, right? To gain some inner strength. And you've withdrawn cautiously from a situation that has to do with your Ten of Cups. Your everything, right? Your Ten of Cups, happy life, joy, prosperity, family, right? That's a beautiful positive card to have, that Ten of Cups. And on the bottom is an Ace of Wands. So you're thinking about a possible reconciliation. Clarify the judgment. Clarify the judgment. Because this is an awakening or a revival to an old, and, you know, the death of an old and the birth of a new. A knight of wands, a fiery knight of wands may come towards you here. He's uh, passionate, but he can be impotent, bringing you a fiery quick message here with the knight of wands. He's going to be uh, come in with some speed of action. Ten of wands in the reverse position. Very interesting. <laughs> Clever. I mean, this person is clever, and they have some energy and some strength, and they're going to come at you fast and hard. One more on this. What does this knight want? They're going to come fast and hard, so be prepared. And they're going to be clever about it. And it's surrounding some sort of traditional values. Mm. Are they asking for your forgiveness? Is this a traditional relationship? Eight of Pentacles. That's in your past. That's employment, learning a skill, right? Working really hard. Money, Virgo. So you're working really hard. Someone is. Who's working really hard? Maybe you're gaining a new skill or learning a new trade. Queen of Pentacles on the bottom. Three of Wands in reverse. And the Five of Pentacles in reverse. This has been some careless ignorance on someone's part, right? Or, or, or a huge fucking mistake. But it was careless. And then you have the Five of Pentacles in the reverse position saying, I've gained some courage because of this. And I have revived a situation. That's why I keep saying revival with this judgment. I think a queen is in the process of reviving something. The birth of something. A fresh start of something. Five of Pentacles is like, this is giving me courage. And, and I'm reviving myself here. Yeah, I have good memories about a Ten of Cups. But I'm cautiously withdrawn. King of Swords and a King of Pentacles. So two masculine energies. So a King of Swords has come in and said, listen, I've revived myself and this has taken me some courage to do so. And it was careless on your part. And it may be a same-sex relationship. Another King of Pentacles coming in and saying... This king is speaking the truth, and this king of pentacles over here is a reliable, steadfast person. So I think this king who's speaking truth is a reliable, steadfast person, or he has another masculine energy that he's involved with, a king of pentacles. 
and that can be a reliable person, Aries, Taurus. But Spirit's telling me you use the most of your assets, wish fulfilled on the bottom. And then you have the Wheel of Fortune. You have the Wheel of Fortune. Why is your Wheel of Fortune in reverse? Why is that in reverse? I mean, this was an outside influence of some sort. I hate to say that, or bad luck. It was an interruption. What was this interruption or outside influence here? Chariot moving, managing the yin and the yang. So this king of swords is managing the yin and the yang in truth making the most of his assets. Let your talents shine here with the uh, Page of Pentacles. You might be feeling novice, right? You might be feeling new at something, but the page here is a scholar. He's very talented. Nurture your skill. Nurture your skill. I'm speaking to a masculine. Ten, ten, ten might mean something. You have the ten of swords reversed. Ten here and ten here. This has to do with your ten of pentacles. This has to do with wealth, prosperity, and stability. You have to let your talents shine so that wealth, prosperity, and stability can come to you. And you are, because the chariot's saying that you are here. And this outside influence... May have been a king of pentacles. It's a victory. Why is the ten of swords in reverse? That's, that's again, courage, positive energy, good health to move forward. So I love seeing that in reverse. So this king of swords that's, you know, come in and said, I'm a reliable, generous person and I'm going to make the most of my assets. I have the capacity to grow a family, the dog, the cat, the home, the husband, the wife, whatever I want. And I need to just let my talents shine. And you might be feeling a little naive. You may have been in a relationship for some time and now you're coming out of it. You're restricted though with the Eight of Swords here. It's, I mean, the Ten of Swords in the reverse position is, is like you're saying to yourself, I have courage. I can have positive energy and good health, but I'm in my mental. I'm all up in my mental. The Eight of Swords is mental energy, right? And you're, this has been a weakness. This is maybe this person is a weakness on your part, right? There, you, you fall victim to their shit and they tie you up and restrict your person here, right? Or you feel they're restricting your person here with the Eight of Swords and that you're being censored or something here, right? They're restricted, Gemini. What's this restriction that you're feeling? Because you have courage to revive something three times in the reading. Mm -hmm. It's keeping you up at night with the Nine of Swords. Again, eight and nine and ten of swords. Eight, nine, ten. So this was painful. It went right through the heart, the third eye, and the chakra. And the Nine of Swords. This is keeping you up at night. This is painful painful anxiety pain cruelty one more who the fuck is doing this what's up spirit someone is putting this person this king of swords in this kind of energy and it is an illusion underneath the moon right not everything that you want to see can be seen underneath the moon especially with this energy that we're going through right now this may be trickery on someone's part and they may have gained the courage to trick you or cause some sort of disillusionment or deception here because this is could be upright double dealing but Something's being manifested in your current energy, in the Empress energy. So you've bossed up to an Empress energy, taking on your feminine energy and masculine. That's why you're moving your chariot, the yin and the yang, right? You've bossed up, you're managing both of your energies, masculine and feminine, and you're trying to manifest something here. This king is... What are you trying to manifest? You're you're all up in your mental over a broken heart. Your heart, their heart, right down the fucking center. A broken relationship. Was this split 
between these two people, these two masculine energies? Was it manifested by somebody? Did they want a split and they just didn't have the courage to say they did? Three of Swords. Did they manifest this? Or are you trying to manifest something out of it? Right? You know your story. It can be either or. See, there's a victory here. Either or. If this King of Pentacles over here is another masculine energy, right? That's someone that holds title in your life. That's someone that's in your life. Kings and queens are people in your life. This could be a dad. This could be a brother. This could be a friend. This could be a significant other. Or it could be a boss. But this king of swords is speaking the truth after coming out of a five of pentacles in reverse and saying, I've gained some courage and I'm reviving myself. Yes, I'm fucking remembering this ten of cups, but I've cautiously retreated into the hermit mode in the four of swords energy surrounding this. Did someone manifest this breakup and it was a victory? It broke your heart. Their heart right down the center. One more on this. A king, a king of cups. I think right now what's happening is pentacles is your money. Cups is your emotions. And swords is truth. So I think you're making the most out of your money. This king of swords is making the most out of his money. He's reliable. He's steadfast. And he's generous. He's up in his feels, which will explain why he's up at 3 a.m. in the morning with the Nine of Swords energy, feeling he is restricted. Up in his feels, because maybe, maybe someone manifested this breakup. Bottom of the deck is strength, but you've bossed up into Empress status here. Not only managing the masculine energies on the board, there's three kings and an empress. So you are the emperor empress and you're managing those two energies here with the yin and the yang. Spirit's saying, yes, you might be feeling novice, new, and you just need to let your talent shine. You're reminiscing about a 10 of cups, a 10 of pentacles, right? 10, 10, 10. And then you have the 10 of wands or the 10 of swords over here. 10, 10, 10 completions. What's this empress doing? Making a choice, having some sort of harmony, right? Trust, romance, optimism, love, honor, Gemini. The Seven of Cups in reverse. Wow. Okay, so the Seven of Cups in reverse is saying this Empress, she's trying to gain some willpower to overcome this situation and make a choice. Because the lover is about a choice to me. And this empress, she births things, right? And the seven of cups coming out in reverse is saying, I'm gaining some determination and I'm finding my willpower to make a choice. And I'm going to birth something here. What are you going to birth? It's going to be injustice. What are you going to birth? See, magician twice. You have everything at your disposal to do this, and you have your back turned. This king has his back turned to this whole situation, and he's looking forward to make some sort of plans. He's being courageous, generous, again, right? Courageous and generous. This could be surrounding a partnership. He's trying to pick a road. Which road are you going on, darling? Right or left? Which one? The sun is shining. You're healing. Okay. Won't be surprised if the star doesn't come out. You're healing. Everything is beautiful in the sun, right? Aquarius accomplishment. We are in the age of Aquarius and these energies are quite mm, amazing. So this might be surrounding some sort of happy marriage that you had or relationship. Queen of Swords. Okay, now we have the counterpart to the King of Swords over here. So she perceived something. Yep. She perceived something, sat with it, right, with the Empress and the High Priestess, and in her past spoke it. 
So now she's sitting in truth and hopes and fears. And the truth she's speaking, you're fearing telling the truth or they aren't seeing the truth. And then you have an ace of swords, a valent victory and truth, a new beginning to start. So what is this queen doing? Because now we have a couple, a queen and a king of swords. Looking at their assets, looking at their emotions to an ace of swords, double clarification, aces of swords right here. This queen has perceived something in truth and it has been very victorious for her, very. And spirit's going to birth a brand new beginning, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, not once, but twice. Beautiful. Stand your ground, queen. Stand your ground. Whoever, whoever is... I think what's happened is this queen perceived something over here and maybe she spoke up prior to really knowing the truth and then got concerned about, you know, money in and out or being making the most of her assets. Will I have enough? Will I not have enough? Can I do this? Clarify this Ace of, Pen Ace of Swords spirit. Again, I'm going to say it again, equal give and take and reciprocity in a situation, right? You want equal give and take or reciprocity in a situation. You have the capacity to revive something. It may be a long-term relationship, traditional, and you have the capacity and the courage to revive it. There's been a death place to something. A death is a transformation, a death of the old and the birth of the new, right? You have to walk through the darkness to get to the light. So you look at this person on the horse, they've had their freaking ass kicked. They look like a skeleton, right? But they have placed a death to it, to the situation and transitioned through it. So maybe you've done transition and you've, you've that's why you're in the hermit mode. One more on this. What's the death? What's the death? You're looking for the healing. You're looking for your star, your star card. You're looking to heal. So maybe you're not quite ready to make a move yet, but this Empress is going to birth something here. Yeah. With the Knight of Pentacles saying to you, yeah, it might be slow. Things might be moving at a snail pace, right? With that Knight of Pentacles there. But you're loyal. You're trustworthy. You, you, or this is a lover coming towards you to give you a message about something. And they're coming very freaking slow. What's the outcome? The readings have been quite unreal because of this energy, I believe. You receive some information, you're sitting with it, just like I said, sitting with this. This this empress, this traditional couple, the king and queen of swords, the feminine energy has come into some sensitive information. She's sitting with it, healing, looking for her star. Maybe she's going to revive this relationship. One more. There's been swords thrown down on both sides of the board. So you're building something with the three of pentacles here. So this queen has thrown down her sword and this and walked away, right? And it's because she's looking for her star. She's trying to heal. And you have to heal thyself first before you can heal the relationship. So I think she's in hermit mode healing the self because there was so much of an illusion going on over here with the moon and double dealing that somebody possibly manifested this trouble in this relationship so this is what i have for you stay in the now and just breathe darling i'm going to take a couple oracles for you spirit angels and guys what is the oracle message for the collective you so the oracle gift so spirit's given you the gift spirit has brought you a gift brought this relationship brought this queen a gift i think the queen is here and she's in separation 
and I think she's in separation from her significant other and she's making the most of her assets over here and she's all up in her feels and it's keeping her up at night. Spirit brought this in as a gift. Two more, please. You have a higher view now. Now that you've gained the wisdom that you needed, you have a higher view and you can assist others in healing and yourself. A rose kiss. So spirits kissed you, kissed you on the cheek, the enchanted sea, and probably dropped you off in La La Land. You don't know where you are or what's what end is up right now. And you're sitting in High Priestess and, and, and the Empress Energy. One more oracle, please, for the collective. Stand your ground. You have a higher view, right? You've learned and gained wisdom. And spirit brought you this gift. Spirit brings us gifts that we need, not that we want. One more, spirit. Oh, thank you. Perfect. Perfect. I let go of the shadow of the past by seeing someone for the first time with the eyes of love, right? We are all one. We are not separate. And so when we mirror ourselves off others and God says, turn the other cheek, forgive you for I know not what I do. You forgive them for yourselves, but you're looking at your brethren. And how can you look at your brethren or your sister with such a huge splinter in your own eye, right? So pain is real, emotions are real, feelings are real. So I want you to remember two things if you can. If you have a thought in your mind, the thought is the lie, and the emotion that you feel in your body is going to be the truth. This is a gift from spirit. You have a higher view because you've gained some wisdom. Now you can teach others. You've been kissed by the rose. Let go because you don't have ultimate control anyway, right? Sound off in the comment section below, baby. You know that's your section. Leave a comment and let me know if any of this resonated with you. Give me a thumbs up if you can and would, please, and share the content. You never know who's looking. When you see this message, you were meant to see it, right? 27, 27 on the clock might mean something to you and 10, 10, 10. So you can Google those idiosyncrasies and see what they mean or even look at your astrology chart. I do personal readings. The links will be down in the tags description if you're interested. I only do readings via email. Have a blessed Thursday. I'll see you manana. Namaste, everybody.